children welcome back to today's class in the previous section we studied about medieval education have you studied that portion and written the notes okay today we will learn about art literature and science of the medieval period this is the last part of this chapter let's start first art and literature of medieval world let's see some pictures which style of architecture is this do you know okay this is ancient roman style observe the next picture this is byzantine style yembara shalamin formed by combining these two styles to form a new style called Carolingian style. Next, we move to the important features of Carolingian style. The main features are domes, means roof of a building, typically with a circular base. Second one, arch-shaped doors, means the shape of the door is like an arch. Third one, huge pillars. a tall vertical structure of stone building and fourth one mosaic floor means the floor is covered with mosaic the europeans got acquainted with the islamic culture during the crusades means during the crusades period the europeans were aware of islamic culture art and literature were exchanged during this period the western style was influenced by the eastern art and architecture observe the next picture the first picture shows the platonic academy of florence and the second picture shows the queen wings hospital of paris these two were constructed by the french emperor louis 9th the western music had its beginning in the medieval period along with the church music secular music also developed during this period the influence of arabic music is visible in the european music in the period 500 to 1400 ce during the umayyad and abbasid caliphates the arabic music progressed considerably means Arabic music was developed during the Umayyad and the Abbasid period. Ibn Misr was the greatest musician of the Umayyad period. He started Arabic music by obtaining the knowledge of Byzantine and Persian music through his travels in Syria and Persia. Means through his travels he acquired the knowledge of Byzantine music and Persian music and then he started the Arabic music. Ibn Mukhris and Ibn Surai were two important musicians of the time. The major themes of the medieval literature were related to religion. Some authors and their works of that period are first one Omar Khayyam His work was called Rubaiyat. Next is Al Firdausi. His work was called Shanama. Next is Ibn Khaldun. His work was called Kitab Al Ibar. Next picture shows Thomas Aquinas. His work was called Summa Theology. Next is Saint Augustine. his work was called city of god next picture shows peter ambilard his work was called dialogue next is kalhanan his work was called rajatarangini then last one the picture shows jay devan his work was called geeta govindam painting also progressed considerably during the medieval period major theme of the paintings was religion santa trinita madonna by senidi peppo is an example of the progress of 
expanding during this period. Next, we move to the development of science in the medieval period. Many scholars who made notable contributions to the field of science lived during the medieval period. The following are first one, Ibn Sina. He was a medical scientist and a philosopher. Second one, Ibn al Qasim. He was the father of surgery. Next picture is Al Biruni. He formulated the basic ideas of geology and anthropology. Next is Muhammad al Rasi. He gave contributions to medical science. Next picture is Roger Bacon. He paved the way for the invention of automobiles and aircraft. And next picture, Bhaskara II. He gave notable contributions to astronomy. Let's see the contribution of the Arabs to the medieval science. The Arabic numerals and zero from India were popularized in Europe. Chemistry was developed as a science. The Arabs were the inventors of the subjects like algebra and optics. The Europeans got acquainted with the technological know-how through their Arab contact. Some of them are First one, the instrument used for making telescope. And second one, street light of the cities. Third one, mechanical clocks. Fourth one, principle of the gear. Fifth one, surgical instruments. And the last one, algebra, alchemy and trigonometry. Medieval China also made great progress in science and technology. Gunpowder, seismograph, mariner's compass, printing and astrolab used by astronomers and navigators are the contributions of medieval China. Let's conclude our today's topic. First one, art and literature. The main features of the Carolingian style are the domes, arch-shaped doors, huge pillars and mosaic floor. The western music, secular music and Arab music were developed. Ibn Misja, Ibn Muhris and Ibn Surai were the important musicians of that time. Next, science. Many scholars who made notable contributions to the field of science during the medieval period. The Arab numerals were popularized in Europe. The Europeans got acquainted with the technological know-how through their Arab conduct. And medieval China also made great progress in science and technology. Hope all of you understood the topic. Thank you.